We all get distressed sometimes. We all have coping strategies. Things we do when we're distressed. Often, we're not conscious of them. We just do things. Our goal always is to feel better. Coping with distress can be considered on a continuum, with distress at one end and our natural survival instinct protecting us from death at the other end. Coping strategies can be healthy or unhealthy. One example of a healthy coping strategy is coping self-talk. That's our inner voice acknowledging the emotion we're feeling and reminding us that we can cope. For example, you're really angry about how she treated you. Take some time to calm down before working out what to do next. Other examples of healthy coping strategies are crying, taking some deep breaths to calm down, focusing on the present moment rather than worrying about what might happen next or replaying something that has happened in our minds over and over, going outside and getting some exercise, listening to calming music, distracting ourselves with something we enjoy doing, talking to a trusted friend or spending time with people. Healthy coping strategies are things that help us feel calmer. After using healthy coping strategies, we feel more confident that we're able to cope with distress now and in the future. Healthy coping strategies help us survive. When we don't have healthy coping strategies or we can't remember them, we still do things to try to feel better. Unhealthy coping strategies are things that may feel good momentarily but are likely to cause us problems or hurt us later on. Some examples of unhealthy strategies are negative self-talk, such as, you're a failure. This can make the situation and the future seem hopeless. Yelling, getting into arguments with others or behaving aggressively can damage relationships and make us feel out of control. Emotional eating can increase our negative self-talk Alcohol and drugs can make us act more impulsively, feel more depressed and damage our health. Withdrawing from our social network can make us feel more lonely and depressed. Suicidal thoughts can become a habit and thinking about them regularly can make suicide seem like a good option. When we feel overwhelmed and can't think of any other strategies, suicidal thoughts can start coming to mind because it is part of our makeup for our minds to keep looking for a solution. Health professionals are people who can provide temporary support for all of us when we feel overwhelmed. They help us cope when we need more healthy strategies. It is a healthy coping strategy to reach out for support when we need it. Professional support can be low intensity, such as telephone helplines and chat lines, if we need someone to talk to. It can be stepped up to more intensive services as we need more support. GPs and counsellors are useful to talk problems through with and help with identifying and connecting us with more intensive supports if needed. Psychologists and psychiatrists can treat mental illnesses that might be affecting our ability to cope. And if we are particularly overwhelmed, hospitals and emergency services are there to provide us with more intensive support. A coping plan is our own individual plan to remind us to use healthy coping strategies when we are distressed. It includes coping self-talk and calming down strategies. Emergency services are at the end of all our coping plans to use if and when we need immediate support.